How's it going my fellow captains and welcome guys to our summary of all of the aviation news that occurred this week. So without further ado, let's begin. So on the 23rd of December, unfortunate news surfaced when a Brussels bound A330 suffered failures in both of his engines. The aircraft which had the registration of OOSFU had been cruising at 40,000 feet when the left side engine had failed. The pilots then followed protocol and transmitted the emergency call and they were considering diverting to Tunisia as a precaution. Now during this whole process, the pilots managed to start the engine again and they decided to carry on their flight to Brussels. But once they entered Brussels airspace, it's reported that the right side engine failed several times and it restarted automatically. Thankfully though, the plane landed safely and it was taken out of service so that the engines could be inspected further. An airline which doesn't receive much attention in the industry is Mahan Air and they unfortunately will be receiving a ban from Germany which doesn't allow them to fly into German airspace. Now the airline operates 6 flights per week to destinations such as Munich and Dusseldorf and the US government are applying pressure on the German government to ban the airline totally. In terms of why they want this to happen, well it all comes down to politics and the sanctions which have been placed on the country of Iran again. It's alleged that the airline has links with the military group in Iran which has been on the list of terrorists since 2017. They say that the airline flies thousands of troops, equipment and supplies as well as special flights between the locations of Iran and Syria. It still remains to be seen if other governments in Europe will do the same as most of the European countries currently have routes to and from Tehran and if they all were to impose a similar ban then sadly the airline's days may soon be numbered. So we all know that the US carriers have a love-hate relationship with Qatar Airways, with them continuously bashing the airline in regards to Air Italy. Well, the drama continues. Now Qatar Airways is hitting back at the allegations that they are subsidizing Air Italy by providing free aircraft and they're conducting anti-competitive practices. The US airlines have claimed that their Gulf carriers have received unfair government subsidies and the agreements which have been put in place involve more transparency of the accounts of the Middle Eastern airlines. Now officials from the US and Qatar are scheduled to meet in January to review the implementation of this year's agreement and the discussion of Air Italy investment by Qatar Airways is expected to be raised. So I'll keep you guys updated regarding that. In terms of deliveries, well great news for South Korea's Easter Jet because they've received their second 737 MAX 8 aircraft. They currently have a fleet of the next generation 737s and they're currently going through a phase of modernization slowly retiring their older aircraft. In addition to modernizing their fleet, they'll also be using Boeing Global Services to better their operations. These services will deliver real-time information to aircraft technicians and keep airlines on schedule. We know that Korea's low-cost carrier market has grown significantly over the past 5 years, almost by 30%, making it one of the largest LCC markets in Northeast Asia. With the new 737 MAX 8s, the airline will be able to expand into destinations such as Singapore and also Kuala Lumpur. So moving on to the 24th of December, and Wow Air has signed a deal to sell 4 of their A321s to help them improve their cash flow problems by more than $12 million. The airline said that they were working on a transaction to sell 4 of the A321s as part of their wider restructuring and fleet reduction. Under these plans, their fleet will reduce from 20 aircraft all the way down to 11. In terms of who the customer is, well it's revealed to be Air Canada and they'll be taking delivery of their new planes in January 2019. So this is great news for the airline to see them taking steps in the right direction and hopefully we can see some stability. Moving on to Christmas Day and Hong Kong Airlines has continued its ongoing wave of resignations, ranging from the chief financial officer and six directors who have left the airline since July. Now according to the airline, the changes of board directors doesn't impact their business and operations, but we know it's more deeper than that. The airline has a fleet of 38 Airbus aircraft and is owned by China's H&A Group. The airline also has significant debt to pay off and it doesn't help them by purchasing many international assets. Nevertheless, Airbus has resumed delivering aircraft after a payment row and according to Reuters, the transaction of 6 A330s worth over $1 billion has been held after 6 months of talk. Also, the H&A Group had missed several payments to Airbus and private companies, with Tianjin Airlines seeking to extend the term for the payment due this year as well. So, it seems like whenever we talk about the H&A Group, it's always the same news sadly. 
Also, ANA have announced a new non-stop flight between their hub in Tokyo and also Perth in Australia. Now, flights will begin in September 2019 and it will be operated by the 787-8 Dreamliner. The flight is expected to give a large economic boost to the Western Australia and officials between the two parties have been in negotiations for the flight for over a year. They've been discussing it for quite a while and representatives from ANA visited Perth in August to confirm the deal. So that's great news for my Australian aviators. Next is the 26th of December and some less than common news and that is that Severtel, which is the Russian operator, has taken delivery of their first Superjet 100. Now the airline is leasing the twin jet from JTLK and the airline will receive four more of the planes over the course of 2019. The airline is set to put the aircraft into service at the beginning of next year. They also have option to switch the cabin configuration to a two-class layout. Now Illusion Finance has also stated earlier this year that they had reached an agreement covering the lease of six Superjet 100s to the airline. Now, 27th of December, well, there wasn't much going on apart from Sukhoi signing a letter of intent covering the delivery of six Superjet 100s with Tycom Airlines. According to the terms of the agreement signed, there should be six SSJ 100 delivered in 2019 and 2020, and it's expected that the aircraft will fly both within the country and also abroad. Now, 20th of December saw a lot of action. BOC Aviation has signed a deal with Boeing to purchase 11 more 737 MAX aircraft. These planes will be delivered in 2019 and also 2020, and they've also entered into long-term leases with a private airline for two more of the jets. For the remaining nine aircraft, the airline has the option to either take them on long-term leases from BOC Aviation or to purchase them at the time of delivery. Now, if you've been familiar with my videos, then you would have heard me talking about a new startup airline called Bamboo Airways. Well, the airline has unfortunately missed its 29th of December start date, and they aim to commence services in the middle of January 2019. According to reports, the airline has yet to attain the necessary licenses to launch services. But things are going in the right direction, and it's only a minor setback. In terms of their fleet, well, they have five AV-20 planes, one AV-19 and four AV-20s, and the leases will start on the 15th of January 2019. Now, some very interesting news, and that is that ANA has announced the schedule of their first AV-80, which will fly between Tokyo Narita and Honolulu starting in May 2019. Sales for the flight will begin in January, and they've also announced that they will begin services between Tokyo and Perth in September. Now, the flight will be based out of Narita and offer direct services to Perth. This makes ANA the first airline to fly to Perth on a regular basis, and the announcement of the new routes comes in a time when the airline is preparing to extend their services to Vienna. We can see that ANA is seeking to better serve consumers worldwide, and they will do everything possible to expand their network. And for me, I can't wait to see their A380 fly. And finally, on the 29th of December, we received word that Germany's Hanover Airport has been closed after reports that an individual drove a car through a gate near the main runway. Now, incoming and outgoing flights have been suspended until 8pm, although the airport terminal remains open. At the moment, it's not clear as to whether or not this was an accident or whether it was on purpose. The incident comes just over a week after German police announced that they were to tighten airport security over terrorism fears after reports of spying emerged from Stuttgart Airport. Now this is still going on and I'll keep you guys updated regarding this. So there you go captains, that was a summary of all of the aviation news that occurred this week. If you have any comments or opinions to add, then by all means do share them in the comments below and I'll have a read of them all. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one.